Be sure and tell them Lord Mars sent ya. <laughs> In the 90s, we were just teeny tights. We went to movies and our bikes. We wanted to be DJs, but we were just teeny gals. So we went off to college and we remained. Welcome to the Large Marge Sent Us Podcast, your favorite podcast where two sweetie sisters sit and watch 90s TV and laugh about it. Woo! I'm your host, one of your hosts. This is my podcast. I'm Sweetie. <laughs> and I'm Nitro. I'm Sweetie, the other host. Is Nitro Australian? No, but there's an episode of Say by the Bell where they're doing the oh, like yeah. the love line or oh, like yeah, the teen yeah. line thing and Zach's alter ego is Nitro, this like Australian. I remember. Guy. I remember. Well, if you haven't guessed already, you probably have not. Uh with our couple hints there, we watched uh uh, episode of American Gladiators today, guys. American Gladiators. What would your gladiator name be? Uh, I just I wrote all of them down. I'm like, which one's the best here? But I'm like, which one's the female and which one's the men? Uh, the men. Oh, it's pretty easy. The female like ones are always like pretty yeah, like or like Electra. women. I like Siren. Yeah, those are cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so the episode we watched, I mean, this show ran from 89 to 90 something, 90 something, and then they came back with like an updated version, yeah, sort of recently, right? Um, I remember it being like a Saturday after Saturday morning cartoons, so I had this mm. like flashback to eating corn pops and watching this. <laughs> Uh, sweetie here thought it was maybe at around at 4 p.m. Yeah, maybe I, th- I thought after school for some reason, yeah, but maybe no, not. I remember like Saturday afternoons. Yeah. Brunch that time makes more sense. as a child. Um, or maybe Sundays. I always had ballet on Saturdays. So I feel like I like yeah. never was well, around. Were you able? Yeah. <laughs> but um, <laughs> the episode we watched tonight was from 1992. Oh, my God. Again, Huber hug. Hu- Huber. <laughs> Super hug from the 90s. Um, I just feel really safe right now under my 90s blanket. <laughs> we felt like Carol was cooking dinner yep. in the next room. We were under the Afghan in the living room watching American Gladiators yep. to make Mickey's beans. So, and, yeah. You know, like, Here you go, Smell guys. it. Yeah. Pet the dog. Yeah. Oh, the dogs. Um, <laughs> this is Nikki. Yeah. Sonny, so, get down. <laughs> get down. So, American Gladiators was kind of a fitness, athleticism kind of show. Where two normal people who I think were physically fit, <laughs> I hope, to be on the show, uh, battled against American gladiators who were really just weightlifters, it seemed like. But they had cool names and they were provocative leotards. <laughs> Tight clothes. I mean, the the men wear like, I mean, yeah, I guess they were pr- pretty provocative too if they had boobs. Yeah. But. They're, I mean, they, there's a kind of like wrestling out, like outfits, yeah, sort of. Yeah. Like the shorts with the yeah. tight, uh, I don't know what you call that, yeah. but yeah. And then they had their names like on the on the front of the suit, so yeah. it's cool. But yeah, the women. The women, on the other hand. Woo. Glorified bathing suits. There's I mean, one, yeah. Diamond with her giant boobs. Where right. Those were like inches, cent, like centimeters from coming, yeah. popping out. Well, it's confusing because like weightlifters usually don't have boobs because it's all muscle like their pectorals like take over really like feel like they're where their breasts would be so diamond pretty sure had a boob job <laughs> on top of her like yeah. intense weightlifting she must reg- have, yeah. like uh strategy there 
So yeah, she was busting out. I'm pretty sure I caught a nip slip. Um, and then every time they do something, they have to adjust adjust the butt of their yeah. uh, outfits because it's like a what did I call it here? Perma wedge. Those outfits are like a perma wedge. It's like how would you like to wrestle somebody in a bathing suit? Yeah, is basically what they're having these women do. So that is like kind of gross about this show. I would say. Other than that, I feel like it's very uh, gender neutral. They, it's all yeah. the same thing. The women yeah, and men do all the same stuff. Yeah, they don't change anything no. to suit the nope. women's style. It's all the same. Yeah, the it's, comment. I mean, there are some sexist yeah. this, the language and comments something. that get thrown around by the commentators. There's one woman who, um, <laughs> so they, they said this twice. The guy was like, her daddy wanted her to play, f- or she wanted to play football, but her daddy wouldn't let her. They said it twice. It yeah. was so gross. Her daddy wouldn't let her. Ugh, fuck like, off. The guy like interviews her at the end. And, like, <laughs> yeah. like, you're like get away anyway so let's go over to jog everyone's memory the eight i think it is one two three this four five special, six seven this eight was like a tournament i guess so they had like a bunch of i feel like there's not as many of them no i think that's they, right no that's right so there's eight and they're different including every time. they are they change up a little yeah. bit but it's basically okay. like these eight all right so you we got powerball which is um i mean they're all sort of like sports that like we know today also they're also kind of like um the gladiator like greek gladiator <laughs> yeah. those Except kind of games somebody's going to kick your butt on yeah. the other side you're not gonna so, die yeah. yeah so powerball there's these th- there's these little bucket things that you have to put balls into and they yeah. all they all stand for different so that points. one's almost like slightly football skills i'd right. say so right you, use, you dodge and you Dodging, try to get it in the yeah. thing then there is breakthrough and conquer which is combined football and wrestling mm-hmm. um hang tough which is the crazy ring one where they're trying to go from one platform to the next but there's a gladiator coming to get them and they'll like if you run into them they just like hang on you and pull you yeah. down it's bad it's scary hard. Uh, the wall, the which wall. is just a climbing wall, but then you only get a 10 second 10 head start. Seconds. And then the gladiators are right after you. No one, I feel like, ever gets that one. That's the stupidest unless, one. Unless they upped the start time. Like, 10 seconds yeah, is maybe not enough did. time. That's enough time to get, like, one foot yeah. old in and maybe. It was super sad. Like, a leg up. And then the maze, which is the maze, but there's gladiators, like, in Hiding, the maze. Yeah. But. I think that's not even the hardest part of that. The hardest part is that you don't know how to get out of the maze. So you're like backtracking and, and getting lost. 45 seconds. Yeah. Really. They're really not very generous with that clock. The, time, yeah. the joust, which is one of my favorites, where they're in two little uh, pedestals. And you have one of those, like, what do they call that thing? A jousting? <laughs> a jousting stick? Oh, they called it something. Baton? Uh, no, a joust. Like a P word? P- pummel? Something. <laughs> pummel anyway, stick. so it's like... <laughs> Cushy on the other side, but basically just like beating the person off of the pedestal. Pillow stick? I don't know. Human cannonball. Polo stick. Polo no. stick? No. Okay, like, forget it. Um, cannonball, where you're human just... Human cannonball. Human cannonball, where you're just using your body to try to hit the gladiator off of another That's pedestal. Fun. That's fun. Um, and then finally, the eliminator. The eliminator. Which is like a little obstacle course. And like throughout the whole game, you are racking up points. And those points will then equal, um, if you're ahead of your competitor more time uh extra time on the eliminator so you get to start first yeah so yeah i guess yeah so it's all has to do with the eliminator start time really the point it's like it's not who has the most points at the end wins. it's whoever wins the eliminator okay right so that even if you come from behind yeah you win you win everything that sucks yeah the eliminator is kind of stupid it's literally the least hardest thing yeah well this so the one that we watched yeah i think was only season two so it's a little different from the one that I couldn't find any episodes on YouTube of the one that we primarily watched, which would probably have been about 94, maybe. Yeah. Um, and in that eliminator, I think same basic stuff, except for the end you run and there's like three choices yeah. and you bust through this like paper wall. And on the end, there could be a gladiator. Yeah. So three, three out of the four have gladiators yeah. behind them. And then the other two one don't. Is, yeah. 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 So that was always fun because you're like, which one are they going to pick? I mean, which I think it's pick? boring when it's a shutout like this. So yeah. for this one, each of the one man and one woman was clearly like the stronger person and just got a point every time where the other guys were sort of like sad sack string beans and like couldn't do anything. So they didn't get any points. They were super behind going to the eliminator and didn't even have a chance. I mean, yeah. it was kind of sad. 
Um, but oh, yeah. it's it's exciting when they're like kind of neck and neck like that because that is really like yeah. tense. Um, but yeah, the eliminator is kind of dumb. So you is. go up the first part, you go up the reverse treadmill, which is a treadmill going the opposite way, but on a hill. So you have to climb up it while the treadmill is coming down. Uh, second is the hand bike, or as I, I like to call it, the egg beater, mm-hmm. right? It's like an egg beater thing. You go, mm-hmm. like, do, 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 go across. Um, this tube thing that revolves that you have to run across. Yep. The cargo net, standard really. That was in guts. Yeah. They had that a lot. So hard though. Um, and then you get on the zip line, and then you climb over the wall, which is like a plexiglass wall with a rope. If you need it. If you need it, which this Ted... Ted LePage did, Ted not, LePage need did not need it. Um, and then it's a straightaway. But in the one that we saw was straightaway to the thing you bust through. This one, you just really ran to the finish line, which is pretty dumb. Uh, but yeah, that's the Eliminator. But yeah, I remember the Eliminator being very hard yeah, for some reason. I think but they this changed was not it hard. They're like, wow, they're like really um, really also, there were some events. So the main events that I remembered from Gladiator was the Joust, obviously. Um, this one, the tennis ball gun one, which is called, did they say it in yeah. the one we just watched? They have a few clips of these, um, not the full episode. The maybe? Annihilator, yeah. So the gladiator is at the, f- at the top with the tennis ball gun. They're shooting at you, and then you hide behind these weird brick things, and you get guns, and you have to shoot the gun from various distance at this target above them, and if you yeah, get the target, really you win. One. So that one was super fun. And then the other one I was just remembering just now. Remember they're in those giant ball cages and they have to roll across yeah, the thing? Like the steam? Yeah, the steam. Yeah. But what was the object of that? To roll onto those things and stay on them for enough time for the steam to come up. And then the, you get like a point. That's like yeah, a, point. a point. So the okay. gladiators are like in their own balls and they try to and, knock you off. In their those. own little hamster balls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that yeah, I remember so that. Good. good times. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yes, yeah, so the gladiators we saw in these episodes yeah. were... And I just want to say that this is a really fun... Um, if you ever play the game Kings, the card game drinking <laughs> game, and for categories, American Gladiators, wow. use this at your next party, I'm telling you. I feel like you could you make up make anything and you would you would be like, that could be a gladiator. But it sparks so much conversation. I'm like, yeah. oh, American Gladiators. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Okay. So this one we had Diamond, Siren, Electra. These are the women. Zap. Uh, Storm. She's a woman. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, did I miss any other women? Nope. nope. Those were the women. Men. Cyclone. Turbo. Laser. Viper. Tower. Wow. Did I miss any? No. Was it? Yeah. Yeah. Good one. So there's a lot. Um, some oldies in there. Uh, oh no, Nitro isn't on here, but Nitro is like soup old and he was like my favorite for a while, but I think this show, it was Laser. <laughs> yeah, Laser's right? hot. Laser's hot. First I was like Turbo, but Turbo was the long haired one who was like kind of bad at the game. Oh, I thought that yeah. was Viper. Well, he got knocked off the pedestal twice. Oh yeah, he sucked. Yeah. He sucked. Yeah. So now my new, my new gladiator boyfriend is Laser. Cool. Uh, Laser, if you're out there. <laughs> uh, my favorite was always Zap when I was little. She's big, blonde, like. Very pretty, but just giant. She was definitely the biggest one, I think. And she was always very quiet. So I remembered that. I don't know. I just liked her. I like her. Yeah. Stealing. I like the ones that wore the little skirts. Oh, yeah. Blaze. So Blaze had awesome braids and wore the cool skirts. There weren't any skirts. brunette. Uh, I know. What's up with that? Huh? Dang. We're misrepresenting. I guess I could never be one. <laughs> I'm never presenting. I mean, no. I don't think that means anything. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> we, just, we just happen not to be yeah, bodybuilders. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend if it's a rainy day and you're bored, put on YouTube. There used to be way more. ESPN Classic used to play this pretty constantly. I remember um, in my dorm room watching like all the seasons. Yeah. They play it at like three every day and I'd watch them all and I'd be like, oh my God, I was going through the whole season. So the first season's super weird because they're they're really just developing everything. So it's nothing. There's only like three gladiators, like three women, three men. And it's very different it's just different um and then you see like the seasons they get more and then some of the same gladiators appear yeah. and then the gladiators get like giant more giant Huge. in each season which is kind of weird you're like how many steroids are you taking <laughs> roids is what i want to know um, i think this would have been really fun to go watch oh yeah as, like a little kid i would have been or so yeah great. you'd be like how many nipples can we see <laughs> if we go well, it was at universal it. studios hollywood oh, yeah, so yeah, if yeah. you had went to universal studios you could have just gone i think <sighs> i wish There's, like this That'd big cool. arena be so, so fun cool. Um, so fun. And yeah. it actually, and I liked, I don't remember this, but in this one they did. So I remember the contestant interviews 
where they talked to the contestant mm-hmm. and they, they would show videos of them doing whatever they did back in their real life. Um, but in this one, they talked to some of the gladiators and did interviews, which I thought was pretty cool. They had this little little thing about Siren, who actually yeah. is deaf, or at yeah, least partially amazing. deaf. And I had no idea. Amazing. And they do Ask the Gladiator. <laughs> so this guy, Dave Davis, writes in, fake name, <laughs> who is like, like, Siren, how do you take care of, like, take care of yourself? What are your beauty and fitness routines? Yeah, Dave, you're super Good interested one. in that. And she was like so vague. She's like, so Dave, um, I work out. I eat fruits and vegetables and chicken and rice. And I wear makeup. <laughs> the end. <laughs> Stupid. Good one. Good one, Dave yeah. Davis. But this clip or the whole thing we watched on YouTube also has 90s commercials. OMG jeepers. So good. Blast from the past, you guys. Blast oh my God. from the past. So we saw a commercial for... Ready? Wait for it. <laughs> Raper vans. <laughs> yep. <laughs> when you can't smoke in your workplace, uh, you should chew Wrigley, Wrigley's spearmint gum. spearmint gum. Like smoking at the workplace. Can you believe it? <laughs> uh, Super NES, Mario Kart. Awesome. Chocolate milk. And it was like teenagers <laughs> trying to convince you to drink chocolate milk. I was like, in went, your dreams. They went through like 10 <laughs> reasons. It wasn't just like w- reason number one. And two, half of them three. were like, it's a snack. <laughs> It's like, A, it's good for you. B, it's chocolate. C, it's, it's smooth. D, it's, it's delicious. F, your friends will like it. G, it's like a Were they supposed to match with the letter of the <laughs> alphabet? Yes, he was doing A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay, I did not get it. Oh, no, it wasn't It wasn't no. like an, an acrostic. Right. No, it was just like regular. Okay. Just yeah, it was so weird. Uh, Mentos. Never, always those Mentos, Mentos commercials. So good. Oxy pads, which, ouch, that like Oof, burn yeah, your zits don't, off. I don't think they make those don't anymore because those. those are bad for you. Uh, certs. Remember the certs mints? Are those still around? Yeah, I think the packaging's just different. Okay. All right. Uh, Subway sandwiches <laughs> where you can get them for 75 cents. 79. And it was a weird cir- circular, yeah, a circular sandwich. sandwich. But still. If not you can around get lunch anymore. for 79 cents th- these days, like... Please tell me where get that lunch is. lunch or food poisoning. You I decide. I can't even get a bag of chips for 75 <laughs> cents. A mini bag. <laughs> it's a sad world out there. And then an advertisement for You Bet Your Life, a game show hosted by Bill Cosby. Ooh, yeah. Right, Bill. Yep. Sad. So that was just like crazy to watch those commercials. I know. And they were so short too. And so terrible. They were like 20 like, seconds long. Terrible <laughs> filming. Just the, I don't know. The quality of commercials of the '90s, like the on the screen writing yeah. that you were talking about, <laughs> the, what was that? <laughs> yeah. Ghostbusters? Yes. No, no, it was an early one, a real early one. No, it was recent because you were no. like, "What is that?" Oh, Ferris Bueller. Yeah, yeah. It's that that like weird like puff. <laughs> it looks like puff paint, like Comic on the Sans. TV. Comic Sans <laughs> fun on the TV. <laughs> Terrible. Um, and this one had a bunch of local commercials, so you got to see yeah. the fashion and. Everything just and a news a news broadcast. Yes, a news broadcast. They're like a hundred men have died at a prison in Brazil. We were like, what? what? When did that happen? <laughs> and then the tornado in Tampa. There's crazy yeah. shit happening. It was like in 1992. It was weird. It was like we were in Flight of the Navigator. We just got kidnapped by a spaceship and got plunked oh down. What if like, that's what happened? In time, and we were watching the TV. Oh my god, that's totally what I happened. Know. It's kind of cool. Shit. Shit. I recommend it to everybody. Yeah. So yeah. So definitely go on YouTube. Look this up. Um, they just they have a couple full episodes, but most of them are the the newer ones that they re- they like Not did cool. it over. So don't Not don't be cool. tr- tricked and watch those. Um, but also watch some of the shorter ones of just a few of the things like the Annihilator. That's fun. It's a really good event. Um, but yeah, and then this was definitely so. I think Guts was like the kids' version of American Gladiators, Sans Gladiators. Right, right. It was the same kind of events, but you didn't have gladiators against you yeah. vying to like take you down. Well, what do you think? Like, I know they're like, it's, we're all business. Like, you know, I'm super tough, and like, all I want to do is win. But like, do you think sometimes they are like, well, like, like, what if they were so hard, no one scored any points? Like, there has to be some sort of thing where they guarantee I mean, that they're going to win like sometimes. Some shows were like that. The contestants just didn't have it. But like, in this, in this one, the girl in it, Shannon Miller, is like the spitfire, like, 20-year-old. She, like, won all the events. They were yeah. not prepared for her. But I think they must play something like that where it would be super boring if, like, they didn't win against the Gladiators at all. 
And well, also, I, but win. then I wonder if but, like they get like some more points or more money if they're like better performing as gladiators. Oh, maybe, but I think that the games in particular in this one, there's all these different levels, so you still get. So they make it so that you'll always probably get points mm. if you do like halfway okay. or whatever. You get ten if you beat them, five if it's a draw, right, right. nothing if you fall well, off if the. I joust. would like to interview an American gladiator. Let's say Laser. Um, <laughs> also, please have sex with me. <laughs> um, <laughs> see, like, what the deal was with that. Yeah. And, like, where and are they now? More. And, like, what are they doing? I think there was a YouTube special. Where are, are they, they now? I didn't watch it. Like, Jim Trainers? Maybe we should have watched it. How awesome would that be if, like, you're, you go around to people and you're like, hey, I used to be an American guy. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, my God, I know. Oh, no. Um, awesome. And I also appreciated in this how you saw the gladiators were super nice to the yeah. contestants after. I after. remembered that. And the women and, especially. The yeah. women were like, so as soon as they hit the mats, they're like hugging. Yeah. Like, Good job. Yeah. Um, I remember when I watched it back on ESPN Classic in college, there was this one episode where um, this contestant like threw a ball at Gemini's head or something in Powerball. Like he missed, like pa- Gemini tackled him and he was like mad and threw yeah. the ball at him. Gemini like flipped yeah. a shit and like went after him and they had to stop the game and like I st- hold them back. Well, some of the contestants were real, like the men mostly were like such hot heads yeah. and got so like crazy doing the stuff. It got like out of control. And I think when the gladiators were a little too rough on them, because they really like were the men, they were like yeah. flipping them and like throwing yeah. them out of like the boundaries and stuff. Um, I would be pissed off too because it's like a game you know you're yeah. all padded up and you have helmets but like it's hard I mean some of the like down. the wrestling one in this these obviously are not their weight classes right. they're going against people that are like Most at least like 150 pounds more the guys yeah. are so tiny so hard so props to anyone who can kind of defeat them yeah well, and you picked for this yeah show. and and speaking in more today's time this definitely I think do you think agree with me that that show American yeah. Ninja Warrior definitely bring that up is part of this yes. thing of how like watch somebody defy the odds yeah. and beat them whatever it is be it a, a course that's impossible yeah. to do battling against somebody that's impossible to beat that yeah. kind of thing i mean so, we were cheering on like yeah it was so fun it was like watching 30 the years later <laughs> it was like watching the olympics but it was even more was. fun yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, and they did great, and it's obviously like super hard stuff they were doing. And, and it was so exciting when they like beat a gladiator. Yeah, and they like and they knock them down. over. Oh, just man. that like look, and they always like play it in slow mo. Yeah. And then like the stupid announcers are like, "Here's where the gladiator went wrong." Like they could like get on that fucking pedestal and like, do yeah, any better. Your life is real. Like you're commentating on yeah. the American gladiators. Like, fat guy go to hell. Like donuts and coffee. <laughs> Chunk. That one guy I totally remember though the other guy not the mustache creepy one but oh, the other yeah, one yeah, yeah. he did like all the seasons yeah he was like the Mark Summers of, like, <laughs> yes fucking yes that was him I don't know his name but he was great he was got but yeah so fun so yeah we're gonna keep doing these fun mini episodes mini app bonus app. I mean we'll watch such things as supermarket sweep hmm. do you have anything you want? Didn't we just say another one we were going to do? Oh, Hey Dude. <laughs> hey Dude. Legends of the Hidden Temple. Yeah. Um, guts. Guts, definitely. Guts or Global Guts? Nick Arcade. Oh, yes. I think. But do you have a preference for Guts or Global Guts? What's The Global one was just kids from around the country? Yeah. Oh, wow. That'd be cool. Yeah. That one was, I remember that one the most. I think they play that the most on the, on their side can of the clock. we do the Bozo Show? Ooh, <laughs> if we can find it. <laughs> Creepy. Um... Yeah, we're going to have a lot of fun with this segment thing, whatever it's called. Bonus Special. apps. Bonus episodes. Bonus apps. Um, <laughs> yeah. Omar so, apps, bonus apps. We got to love oh, Wild and Crazy Kids. It's another one. Wild we'll do crazy it. Kids. Double Dare. We'll That's, do it. That was Omar Gooding. Yeah. What did I say? I said Omar Epps. Oh. Who's Omar Epps? The actor. <laughs> Who's He's in the movie? House. O. Oh. Um, was he in Yeah. He was a fellow in O. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so if you like American Gladiators and you'd like to converse with us about yeah, it, tell us who your favorite gladiator is. Tell us who your favorite is. gladiator is. You can't have laser, he's mine. <laughs> Come find us on Twitter at the Sweetie Club. We'll also post some cool shots on Instagram at Large Modge. Send it to us. So thanks for listening to this bonus episode. Bye. Bye.